Hi, one week into owning the Up Plus 2 3D printer and I've decided to make uh, one more video to uh, show you guys more about it. Uh, the on switch is right at the back of the printer and um, when you turn it on you need to initialize the printer. You can either initialize it through the software or you could use the button in front. Well, this is a bit of a design flaw because the button in front is supposed to be a press and hold. Uh, so they should have probably used the push button instead of uh, kind of a rocker switch. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is uh, the printer going through like an initializing phase, you know, which you need to do every single time. Um, besides initializing the printer, you, you should, you know, typically be able to start printing. But uh, I'm going to show you this... Um, um, platform calibration tool that they've included. So it, it pretty much uh, has a magnet to attach it to the print head and uh, kind of a little uh, contact switch. I uh, use the 35 millimeter cable, kind of audio cable to attach it to the back of the printer. And this, use, uh, this gives you the ability to do a platform leveling calibration. This is uh, the really nice feature of the Up Plus 2 printer. So you go to auto level on the software and it does this uh, nine point calibration of the platform. There is three uh, turning screws at the bottom to uh, kind of physically calibrate, but this is uh, a further software um, uh, fine tuning of that calibration. I'm gonna just speed up the video here, but um, yeah, it's, it's not a very long process, but uh, yeah, it's still a bit of a wait. I don't do this all the time. Um, maybe, you know, sometimes I get uh, run into problems with my print, so I, I'll, I'll do this, but not very often. You don't have to do this every single time, but I try to do it every single time I uh, start the day. Yep, so there, auto level completed. Uh, another nice thing it does is uh, an automated... Um, platform you know nozzle leveling feature um, because that 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 tool is uh, has a magnet so I just stick it to the back of the printer and here is uh, another switch at the back of the platform uh, for the nozzle height you know detection so you you click that on in the software and it does a nozzle height detection so this is a uh, this is it in the close-up. So the nozzle um, touches this metal metal uh, a switch that, that closes the contact to do the nozzle height detection. So these are two very nice automated uh, features of this printer that is, uh, well, I, I suspect uh, in the very near future, lots of other printers are gonna steal this idea. So height, it gives you a height. Uh, and if you look at platform calibration, there, so this is this is where you set the height that you've just calibrated, and these are of course the uh, kind of uh, settings of the platform. I'll just load up a file to uh, show you the basic user controls. Um, you get X, Y, and Z controls up to a five degree angle, and you can place. Um, as many files as you want into a single print. I don't think there's any restriction there. Um, there's print and print preview. Uh, there's your nozzle height, uh, which we found out earlier. Um, you get to choose, you know, fill densities, uh, Z resolutions, um, angles of the support, density of the support, speed of the print, and. Well, a lot of people say that the uh, you know this is closed source, but basic user controls are still there. Estimated material and print time is still there as well. I printed a lot of stuff in the first week, so I ran out of ABS. So I bought a new reel from Red Wrapper, and uh, because it had a longer spool, I made a new spool holder for it. After a week of uh, pretty heavy printing, the only problem I encountered was just uh, you know the ABS curls up and. Uh, burns itself on the nozzle but that's I think that's like ha that can happen to any printer so yeah so pretty much a more or less problem free uh, first week of printing 
So I'm pretty happy with this printer like I said in the previous video and uh, I continue to be happy with it. Well, thank you for watching.